Is this stage of the you playing the basketball, you're playing all, all season now? Yeah, I think so. Uh, even before the international break, I think where we're at the moment is, is the best we've played so far this season, by far. What do you put that down to? Well, I don't know. It's just uh, it's a good, it's, it's, it's a time of the season when everyone is, is, is connected to the game. Is you know is in a good is in a good physical form. We've got almost no injuries, and um, yeah, just keep going from there and keep the momentum. There's some key performances from a lot of players, but Jack Grealish in particular was outstanding today, wasn't he? It's taken him a while to get his best form. Is that, is that fair? And, and, and do you think you know now? He understands what's, de what's demanded of him in, in the system and everything. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's been he's been really really good today. He was he was unbelievable in my opinion. Um, and yes, yeah, sometimes your first season at City is not easy. Yeah. For me, it wasn't. For example, uh, for Riyad, for Riyad Mahrez wasn't easy as well. And sometimes it takes time. And now he's doing well, and I'm happy for him. He deserves it. And today, once again, he did a, a very good job. Has he has he talked to you guys about? Finding his city way, you know. Have you helped him? And have you talked to him about? Yeah, we've t we we talk about the process we talk is, about these yeah. kind of things, and people just think that you're gonna come into one of the best teams in the world, and you're just gonna yeah. start every like game season. and be the best player yeah. on the pitch every game, and it just doesn't work that way. The manager demands a lot from from the players. It's a different style of play from from most of, of the other teams, mm. so you have to get used to it and. And now he's been here for, for quite a long time, he's used to it and he's doing well. What, what does it say about his mentality and his mindset that he's been able to kind of get his head down and, and really know what's required to be a, a, a regular starter here? Well, it's tough and when you have tough moments, you just keep going. That's, that's what it is for all the players. There's not one player in the world that can be at the top of their game for, for their whole career. What so, you mean unlike you? Huh? What, what you've been doing for the last two or three years? No, You're but, but, no, but I, I've, I've had my difficult moments as yeah, well. Yeah, sure. I've had it. And you just, you just accept it and, and keep going. That's, that's how it is. And Jack accepted it like you, you have to. And now he overcame it and he's doing really well and I'm happy for it for him and I'm happy for the team especially because when he's in this form it's really good for our team. What about, what about you? The future? Where, no, I'm, I'm, I'm very focused in these last two months of the season. Premier League, Champions League, FA Cup. We can win everything, we can lose everything. Big things are coming, so just my focus is on that. Can I can ask you about Erling Haaland as well. So he's missing today, he haven't missed him much this season. How do you feel that everyone kind of stepped up and chipped in? Right? It's a bit of a different display going forward. Well, Erling is, is important for us, but it's just it's just one one more one of us. If if a player is missing, we know that in our team it's it's, it's not a problem because because we have people to fill to fill these these gaps and these positions. So yeah, today he was missing. Maybe next game it will be another one. And we will fill that gap. You got Julian there. Uh, he looks he's not, he's not a bad replacement. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what kind of message, Bernardo, does this, does this kind of send out? You know, you're know, you not going to give up the title, are you, without a fight? I mean, Arsenal are in, as Pep said yesterday, they're in the pole position, but you guys are just going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing. Is that yeah, the message? Yeah, of course, they can win it, but we're going to fight until the end. How much, uh, do, you, how much do you think experience plays a part in that? Because you've done it so many times before. I don't know, because it can go both ways, right? Because for some people say, oh, they're more experienced, but then uh, the people say, oh, because they've won it in the past, they don't want to win it anymore. So <laughs> you guys you decide what's, what's the best, what's the best, uh, what's the best one, depending on the day. And for Arsenal, the same, oh, they're inexperienced, they, they don't have the experience to win it. But the next day you can say, oh, they're very hungry because they've never won it. So we're, we're going to fight for it. And experienced or unexperienced, they're there. So that means they're very good. And they deserve to be there. And that, that, that game could be pivotal, isn't it, here in a few weeks' time between you guys? That, that, that could be a, effectively a decider. No, it could be a very important game, but before that we have, we have tough games before, before it. And if we sleep before, it doesn't matter what we do in that game. So we're going to focus in Southampton away now. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.